WrestleMania Live After Sorry, like that one? That was the extended cut. Um, Blu-ray exclusive. What's going on, guys? WrestleMania 11:30. Dubba Dubba Blu-ray Maniac Raymond Blue Chad, whatever you want to call me. Uh, just giving y'all a channel update. I got a new series. It's going to be coming out soon, as far as Blu-rays go. And it's going to be entitled Blu-ray Recaps. And once a week, I'm going to post a video basically showing what I have watched. This is going to be separate from what I pick up, you know, as far as the, the Blu-ray manias. It's going to be Blu-ray recaps, which basically, over a week's period, I'm going to show you all the movies that I've watched and give you a brief overview of what I thought of them. Um, shout out to Django Spider. He, he, I just saw his latest vid that he did where he showed what he had watched over the Memorial Day weekend, which I thought was really good. Um, and really cool idea, which I've been wanting to do something that like that. I just didn't really know what to do. Up, oh, gaslight just came on, and I look like a ghost. Goodness. Um, guys, I'm sorry. The sun is just beaming in my face. But that's what. So look forward to that, guys. I'm also going to be doing another collection update soon, probably in the next two to three weeks. Once I pick up another these next several hauls to kind of give you an overview. It'll be after three months instead of just two. So look forward to that. And I'm be, I'm doing a lot of purchasing on eBay because I'm having to find stuff cheaper being as I got to get my car fixed. That's going to set me back you know, a little bit. But I just want to give a quick little, uh, my quick thoughts on this on these Walmart still books. I love the comic book still books. I think they're great. The artwork's great. The, you know, they come with the Blu-ray, the DVD, and the digital copy which I think is awesome. But I'm really not in I'm really disappointed in these in these other still books. <laughs> like they look cool on the outside. Don't get me wrong, but 90% of them don't have any artwork on the inside. It's just really plain looking. And I've noticed that all of these that they've made in the still books that are normally two disc sets other than Lord of the Rings, I don't know because I haven't bought them all, but like for example, Saving Private Ryan is a is a supposedly the Sapphire collection, but it's just disc one. There's no it doesn't include the special features disc, which is lame. Uh, Inception is just one disc. I know, I found that out when I purchased it. So I'm kind of mad at myself that I sold the, the my regular Blu-rays when the when the Steelbook sale first started because I was planning on getting them all, thinking that they all were just like they came before just with still books but they that's not how it works they like you know cheap cheap out and cheaping out on you so um i've kind of decided to go back and just buy a lot of those on ebay for you know two three four bucks uh and just keep those in my collection for now just because i, I don't really want to justify spending the seven eight dollars more for the still book when i don't even get all the discs that i got before you know what i mean like you're you're getting the steel book, but you're not getting the, all the disc and the features. So it's like, well, I'd rather have the features, you know, as well. So, uh, and I think that they'll be, and they're, they're going to be available. I'm going to definitely get the comic book steels. I'd like to collect all those just because they include, you know, the digital copy, the DVD and the Blu-ray. So I think that's more well worth it, but that's just my thoughts. I mean, every, you know, everybody's, everybody's got different opinions, but, um, so I'm, I'm getting on eBay and getting a lot of stuff off of there. So the next Blu-ray Mania episode will be an unbot will be me showing my pickups, and it'll be the, re the return of the safety knife once again. It's been you know it's been the, off for a couple of months. Um, all of my all of my subscribers that subbed to me, you know, back when I did all the WWE unboxings, that was you know Team Safety Knife was the. Uh, was the squad, and we still are a squad. It's just, I've just taken a break from the safety knife because I haven't needed it. I've been going to the stores. So, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I wanted to say is give you all a little overview of what's going on with the channel. Um, about to hit 750 subscribers, which is incredible. Thank you all so much. Uh, like I said, never thought that that would be something I would be looking for, looking into. You know, I mean, I, I've only had my channel six months. I started it December the 10th, I believe, and it's, you know, 
fixing to be June, so a little over six months, and we're already at, you know, sitting at um, 750 subs. That's that's awesome, guys. Thank y'all. And shouts to everybody that's subscribed to the Visual Maniacs channel. We're, we're fixing to hit 300 subs already on that one. So we're also going to be doing some stuff too. We're, it just Jordan's schedule is so hectic right now with all of his competitions and and stuff. So he's got he's so his plate's so full. And I've been working 60 hours a week overtime. We're, we're, we're working six days a week now. So our schedules are kind of tough. But in June they'll open up a little bit. And we'll be able to give y'all more more content. We're gonna do movie trips, um, you know, go go see more movies like we did with the last one. We really enjoyed that, as well as some hauls. So just keep just keep you know keep posted with that. If you're subbed, if, if you're not subbed, go sub. And uh, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. Uh, it's a beautiful morning, and and yeah. I'm really excited about doing, uh, I was going to let you go, but no, just kidding. I'll uh, get my John Ramble on this morning. Oh, sweet. Went off the road a little bit. I'm really excited about these blue, this Blu-ray recap series that I'm about to start. Like I said, it's going to be a, a weekly series that where I show, where I talk about all of the movies that I've watched over the past week. I show those that I've watched, and I, and I basically give my opinions, and, I, and I'm really excited about that, guys. Because I do, you know, I've done tons of Blu-ray Mania episodes showing you what I bought, but for the most part, I haven't told you what I thought of it, you know, because I haven't got a chance to watch a lot of them. But, um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to get my Casper the Ghost looking self off of here, and uh, y'all have a great day. Love, peace, and hair grease.